as Rise is going to be the final pick onto the side of Hanwha Life. We're expecting that to be into the mid lane. Guardian That's heal. If there was no heal, no Guardian, I could understand it. Now top lane, there's only three <laughs> minions here. And the turret shot's already tanked. It's all about the dives today. Double stun though as Soan is doing a dance, but the first blood will still go the way of Dom1. Lava gonna looking for a gank. He's got red buff. And the knockoff. Here we go. Okay, ultimate comes in and then a stun, and there's no hope. And that red buff helps out. A pretty comfortable mountain drink. No vision down here. Double control ward towards the mid lane and Bono punch. Not gonna force the engage, but Hamwar definitely looking to get on in there. Smite does go the way of punch though, and TPs are coming in. So I'm gonna get low and have to fly away. Before. Nice cast to keep him in range and assassinated by the Akali. Gets that kill and is looking for another one and Hanwha Life are just gonna be totally routed, trying to force the fight at the Rift Herald. It's not gonna work out this time. Hoy, what are you doing? He's dying. <laughs> Comes from the two kills. 50 more from gold as bot lane. Okay, we're looking for the stun here. Can the Grey Health come in? Yes, it can. And it looks like after that tower dive, he's not going to have flash. And by the room can get some away, but a lot of tools used to escape Bono's turret dive. Good arrow there. Showmaker able to get that one. The last shot from the cannon picks it up. After he does a bunch of damage, speaking of damage, Jace and Nuggery, two things that go very well together. And how about some kills as trying to get this wow. one, the Dunkerino with the smite as well, just puts Aurelia out of her misery. That bounce was literally into Gradus' lap. It yeah. couldn't have been any better. The only way I've seen better plays is when Scarra says, watch this, puts down a regular Q, then bounces with the ult yeah. into his fermented keg. But that one was right up there. So nicely done by Punch. He knows the angles on the lease in. Apparently, Gragas also in his wheelhouse. Good at geometry and knocking people around. It's two important things if you're a jungler. And remember and, how that oh, first turret died. How about fast. another turret? Yeah. <laughs> the second one dies instantly, and the Aurelia matchup that works. Good thing about being named Papa Smithy, a lot of lines just roll off the tongue and sound <laughs> yeah. funny as hell. <laughs> And Still looking for an opportunity here. And it looks like he's going to find an Aurelia again as nice stun, but it's 1v3, my son. So See this, you later. You remember when we talked? And Domon are playing very confidently as well. They're just roaming around the map as a unit. They they get Showmaker. Nobody's really able to be very particular about this. I was told by uh, Heroes of the Storm Tosses. Well, hold Heroes of the Storm Analysis. We're going fishing again as, oh boy, that's a big catch. Gets the Tom Kench and the Ash, but is it enough damage? Here's Aurelia. Gets one, gets two. And Nuggery's going to flash over the wall here trying to get away. He's pretty flexible, actually. Nice gymnastics here from Nuggery. Might actually make his way out of this one. But what do we say? Bono find and engage against five and make it about you. And that's what they did. They pick up the kills. Recreate it might be hard, but here's some welcome gold for the side of Hamalai. Zach comes in too and puts down the dunk and makes that three into the pockets Bono, of Bono. And maybe Hamalai can get over the edge after all. Zach is certainly getting online now setting up for this infernal they gotta get so on in here somehow he does have his tp showmaker though trying to zone away bono he's now behind them as okay don wants to step on in hanwa rotational play here i believe actually no a flank onto so on oh boy so on taking way too much damage there's the arrow to the face but had to be devoured showmaker still going down showmaker zoning out so much of this Zach gonna go down on the top side and make that two kills now. Come to Baron, and not much you can do. They're gonna try to 3v5 here, our Hama Life. See how this does work out. Taking a little bit of damage, but the smite is there. There was no smite on Punch either, amusingly. Yeah. Okay, well he did the damage anyway. Hoyt is gonna be the sacrifice, and now here comes Hama Life, getting that slow onto the Ash. Arise does a ton of damage, but now they're turning it around. So Hong gonna get that nice stopwatch down, and. Now he's looking to go in once again. This is so close, but Punch turns it around and in goes Showmaker 2. As Domwon are gonna flex on top of Hanwha Life here. Down will go the last member and Bono alone. And the further plays around Baron were pivotal as well. Domwon had the 
different utility options, but we weren't sure they could use them. They've squandered them before. They get two kills, including the smite. Gragas doesn't have smite here. This is not information to harm more life. They get the Baron, but watch the couple of plays. And I want to call out... And then regroup and go for the push now. As nobody's fooled by Mono coming in here. Oh, they get the rise in the backside. Just going to open up this inhibitor. Make that one. And now count them two. As two of the inhibitors will go down already. From well, going down. So you're stacking the deck as has been stacked from the Jace first pick here from Dam One Gaming. You cannot leave that open for Noggery. He is one of our god laners in the top lane. Dam One Gaming push up and Humble Life. It's almost time for the emergency engage, and that one very rarely works. Baron is out, and it looks like this is the moment. Really nice interrupt there. On to the Elastic Slingshot. Showmaker going to the back line, too. Nearly assassinates Song Yoon almost immediately. As all the slows come in, the cast's going to knock So One into danger as well. And it looks like Dom One Gaming should be picking up game number one. Like you called out, the most impactful thing there was the body slam. Excellently done by Punch. Pretty good pose as well. They're going to close out the game. Well deserved victory for Dom One Gaming. And my only takeaway here is that our one trick Lee Sin's a three trick now. The Olaf's pretty good. The Gragas is right up there with the Lee Sin. Really nice from Punch. But would be the safe choice. He says, I'm going to farm from a thousand range and in Nuggery's Rise and Showmaker's Zone. He's going to have to flash here. <laughs> as uh, he's not flashing just yet. He's, he doesn't have to flash. Okay. Down That's he goes. It. First blood. Gonna go the way of Bono. That's nice why I, try. That's why I was, if you could trade, say, Noggery getting two turret plates, Showmaker getting two turret plates, or five turret Noggery plates. doesn't have many CS at this point. It's all being denied. Oh, nice play there by Showmaker. Good read. As Noggery is just playing around here. <laughs> Not much else that he can do, just build up his tier. Or his, CS. It's the right way to play. If you go Lissandra top, you focus on pushing, you focus on turret destruction. You've made this point many times, but because it's an aftershock laner, you and it does get the inner turret. That's a little objective. We talked about how hard it is to get the vision. That maybe don't get used as often enough. Well, he's not going to want to do that. And speaking of flank wards, trying to get behind here, but Hoyt trying to be on top of this. will throw it out. He's going to have Luden, Sorks, and Protobel. Pretty 20. So he is a uh, battle test. TP comes in as Rise. Nuggery going to be looking for that angle. 2,500. Coming on in, that's gonna be a nice ult. Look at that damage go down on Taki and Tall. Oh, that battle star was so close. The Bard ultimate not gonna hit anybody, but down goes Key. As he doesn't exist, who will the Infernal go to? It will be Bono as Punch. A little bit too late on that one. Trouble Bubble comes in, and down will go Lissandra too. And oh, oh boy, they're going in for it, but was it too far? As Nuggery gets popped and everybody's going down. How do I like they get Infernal a triple kill to, Le to the LeBlanc? And maybe even Lee Sin goes down, but so many more kills after what was that Rise ultimate? Nuggery just party warped them into their doom. Holy crap! <laughs> they just got AoE to death by Lava and Sangyun. That was uh, a bold Rise call. That was not the warp you wanted. The party warp, the party cast, definitely a party warp. I mean, you got everybody in one place, so LeBlanc is like, okay, I'll press WR and uh, I'll see you later. You know, there aren't a lot of champions left in the game. Just teleports right on top of him, and now Lava, okay, playing with fire here. Nice ultimate. That's the clone coming on in once again. They're going to get the Ezreal, and the Protobelt gets another. And oh, man, after that last Realm Warp, it looks like they still have no vision. They don't know what it's at. Just throwing stuff into the dark and seeing what sticks, but nothing is. Nope. As the positioning is good from Hanwa, and the Baron is good from them as well. Two big fights into the objective, and Hanwa will this win. This round warp was a bit more intentional, but it's on to a Banshee Veil cleanse LeBlanc. It doesn't matter that it flashes down. Yeah. They're going to be held at what looks like the only one inhibitor turret going down should be the mid lane going to the side of tall but you can see they're all quite low trying to make the best of the last of that Baron. Sandra, leblanc <laughs> lucian so dead mate see you later you're on a ward the ward there very very nicely done the control ward down from hanwa live they've been very on point at sweeping out vision tall coming for a flank 
he's gonna kill someone real fast. Looks like it will be a bunch of damage on a punch, and with a little bit of help from his friend Song Yoon, they pick up the jump. The realm. So, who's gonna burst down the uh, Baron? Question is, who's gonna burst down Dalmon as everybody's coming in for the flank? Nice knockup by Hoyt. Nice amount of damage here, too. That's two members already that do go down, but inevitably, Nogari will be taken out on the backside. And but will we have Bono get in range? Tall He's has. coming in from behind. No Tempered Fate to delay either. Trying to kill Bono here. He's getting pretty low. Stop watch though. And in goes Tall and Lava into the pit. And Domwin Gaming are going to go down. And Bard is going to steal the Baron. A huge tear from the audience. But Domwin were already being routed in that fight. Can Nuclear go forward? It doesn't look like it. So no. on from Punch. He's right there to swoop in and steal the Baron, of course, as you do. And, uh, well, by the way, see you later. As uh, Nuggery Both will. solo laners picked up the Baron buff so they can still play three lanes. Maybe slightly disconnected, but three people pushing mid. And Lissandra and LeBlanc still have those Baron buffs. Think how well I've done enough, Valdez. Tricky. They knew their timings. They were able to follow them. Their alarm went off, they woke up, and that means we should be going to a game number three, barring one further shenanigan. Props to Dom One for trying some shenanigans there and doing well, but Humble Life played better in this series, and it looks like they should be able to pick up the win off of the back of that one. We'll see what Dom One can do on the defense, but all three lanes pushing now. They don't have the super minions yet, but that's a lot of cannons. They're doing a Whole hell of a lot of a damage here. Tempered Fate to spit the fight. They only get Lee Sin. Oh, in goes Lava too. Trying to come into this fight now. Key getting pretty low. Punch gonna back off here. And Tall nearly goes down as Nuggery trying to do the machine gun work. But in goes Song Yoon. That reliable AD carry is gonna stay alive. But down one there. Gonna try to stop this. But in goes Bono. It's gonna last in the Nexus. Then there you go. Game three will be coming up next. Just enough to get over the line, but even that last fight on the Baron, if things do go out, usually is a victory. So given that Vayne has been all the talk this week, can they talk the talk and walk the walk with a nuclear? Bunch takes it down. Darwin gonna steal blue, I think, as a response, but I'll take that. It might be shared three ways, which oh, I get the charge. Oh, perfect timing, 1356. They get the whole back in the mid lane. A TP expended to get some gold. Oh boy. Showmaker may have made a mistake here trying to get dunked, but he's about to block it. Oh, he's turning it around. The kick from Punch, so clean. But Zen is going to be able to come in and save his life. Now TP's from the back. He in a little bit of here. trouble. Here comes Flame. The Flash trying to come in, and there's the first blood. Finally goes the way of LeBlanc, and Lava and all the rest of Hava Life are on the run. Trying to turn it off to Flame, who nearly burst Lava with that empowered Q. A nuclear now trying to get a piece of the action is going to get one kill, and it will stop there. Super fun fight, very back and forth, and relatively close, but did go in the hands here of Dama. Especially with a couple of kills on their Probably carries. nice. Where's our replay? We don't know. How can we possibly know? As <laughs> uh, trying to play around Bono here. It's going to be knocked in the wall. Nice taunt here by K, but he's still going to go down. Song Yoon trying to take that damage back, but here's Nuclear right in the face uh -oh. of Song Yoon. Gets the double kill, and this is looking Bane great. He has three kills. I think everyone types the same thing in chat, in the team chat I'm talking about here. You they know. have a... Pretty well fed Vlad, who has had no pressure on to him. Mm -hmm. They have LeBlanc, who's looking to get out of this one now, Lava. Okay, gonna hop back here as Showmaker. I feel like I've cast this before. We'll see if he can actually make it out of this one as Showmaker. Gonna get that knockdown. There's the Cataclysm, and see you later, Punch. Trying to spare the blushes of his teammate. Is gonna try to get over the wall, but there's the Flash Taunt from the side of Key, but he's still gonna get away for now. Punch still on the run. Looks like he actually did it. They got baited to keep chasing, but with the big door opened of the Braum, they couldn't stop him holding the door, and it holds the life of Punch. He lives through all of this. Too much pressure, I suppose, as Hama pushed them away and then tried to rotate into mid. I would assume Samgubsai. 
just standard pork. Standard pork belly is what you're saying? Yeah. That, that would be my assumption. Deal with the rice. I think QSS is probably the call, if you remember. Well, is there two? Maybe not. Because remember, it was Zoe and another pork. And then the hey, fans just wouldn't believe you anymore. <laughs> Only if they played. Maybe if they played. Oh, like and they're going to lose out of mid lane turret for this, most likely. Bane just standing in front of damage, All but right, there's that front line as Hoyt says hello. They get a lot of the Vayne health bar, so maybe they get the turret. So, a bit of to and fro. Nuclear needs a bit of time with the red buff. I'm actually not sure they have any control wards left, and this Baron is not long for the world. They do have the blue trinket and a flank they coming yellow in. in. Here we go! From Tom, there's the Dunkarino on to two, but nice stopwatch. But everybody's so low, but here's Vlad into the back line. Gets a massive Hemo playing on to everybody but the Fenders from the side of Sangyun. He's trying to go, but hey, my name's Vlad. He's still in this fight, doing that damage. Not going to get the Penta, but will get the Quadra. Say hello to your new daddy. Bars were ticking, ticking, ticking on both sides, but only one champion excels in that scenario every time. Do you remember when we first saw Nogari's Vladimir and we saw the build where you can go scaling CDR, yeah. Transcendence, and 5% free CDR? And we said, this till next year. Let's give him a couple more patches, see how it shakes out. Yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> I mean, this is almost ridiculous. feel the life taken out of Hot Life. He's literally After sucking them. it. The champion sucks life. He sucked the life out of them. And, and they're just kind of hiding in their base now. They're like, well... At least we know what champions what the Riot now? Balance team mains. They main Vlad. Confirmed. That they do as... Uh, is he going to die? Doesn't look like it. As Not quite enough, but a zoning Hemoplague is enough to scare them as... We, you know, we were talking about the Vlad, but Bane is still in this game. Don't forget about her. Oh, good. A second poison. Yeah. The first one I'm still alive from. <laughs> just kidding. I'm dead. Yeah. Well, right. yeah. at least the front door right. engaged, but he can pop over the wall with the, the wall with the E. Here so he's he is. waiting out the minions. This is super Metal Gear Solid. Trying to get on top of nuclear as it is, but down goes Bono immediately as nobody can do anything. The Hemoplague is not dodged, and see you later, Homolife. We'll have to wait for you in the next series. You forgot to ban Vlad, and boy, were you punished for it in this game. As well, let's pick up some more kills. Double kill for the Vlad Flame. Feeling pretty happy. Gets the final kill. Gets the ace. And that's going to be it, guys. GG. Double kill for Dumb One Gaming in a best of three. That's all you need. They take down Hanwha Life. They firm that they are now the favorites for top five. And maybe Hanwha Life will be so close, but no cigar for another year running. A huge series here for Dumb One. They needed to pick up the win against Hanwha Life. So that they could be in a good position now at nine and six, feeling much better and playing with a big smile on his face, doing the carry things on a carry champion like Black. I also feel like if he dyed his hair and wore a red cape, he'd look like Vlad too. I think he could pull yeah. off a really good sure. cosplay of the Vladimir, because right now all I can see is triples, quadras, and pentas, because Flame just popped off on this one. The fans, the Darmon fans, are stoked. They know this was a big victory for his team. It's definitely a huge one here, the side of Darmon. Unfortunate to the side of Hanwha Life. Certainly some great moments from them, but they just were so close, yet so far away. And again, that's kind of the story of Hanwha Life once again. Every split, it's like so close. One more game win. Maybe you get into playoffs. One more better. Let the rest of you guys do the work as to the meeting. And well, dumb one after that game, they give another loss to Hama Life. And we said it before, but once you hit like nine, 10, 11 wins, that's when you begin to clinch playoffs. And King Zone and Dumb one, as you guys can see, very close actually even to SKT and Sandbox. We'll see how this playoff race continues as it's a pretty spicy one towards the end of spring. And while Dumb One Gaming have clinched nothing, this is the clinch period for Hanwha Life. They have to face the top three in their remaining games. So finding 10 match wins, which with this game score is gonna be important. Sound and tough, Valdez. Hanwha Life have a horror run coming. Dumb One Gaming don't have plain sailing. They do have Griffin next up, but maybe it's the right time as Griffin will be playing tomorrow against